Okay, so today's pepper review is going to be on the Yaki Blue Fawn Pepper by Mojo Peppers. Alright, so here we go again. We're going to do a taste test on this pepper. And this pepper is called the Yaki Blue Fawn by Mojo Peppers. I don't know if this is an F1 offhand. A lot of the peppers I bought from them this year, a lot of them were considered F1s, meaning it's the first seed off of his cross so i happen to buy those and he does have a disclaimer on there saying yeah well we're not guaranteeing that you're going to get the exact same thing that we got off of those f1s they may or may not uh show quite the same way so i'm not i know i'm aware of that and it's a good possibility this may not be like the same phenotype as the pepper uh, that he's showing in his images when he's selling to you because again this is an f1 and you're going to have to grow this for a while until you can get that phenotype. Some of them got stripes and patches in them. And that striping and patching occurs in some peppers as they ripen and mature. And so that's not really necessarily a phenotype per se or a characteristic of the pepper. Though if a lot of his peppers do that, that might kind of count as a characteristic so so far none of my peppers have done it but then again i didn't leave them on long enough you really got to leave these peppers on for probably a couple of months before you can actually get to that point where they get patchy and striped and everything so you may or may not see that with the pepper you know that you're growing so don't be disappointed in that but as long as if the pepper phenotypes correctly the same shape and everything then you should be all right at least you're in that window and it's just a matter of trying to figure out how to get it to go stripe and like I said that's most likely has something to do with the uh, the ripening process so you might get that you may not you know that you really got to be creative on how you let these ripen so anyway we're gonna take a bite off of this I do not know how hot it is if it's too hot I'm gonna have to spit it out uh, I'm not able to handle super hot peppers but I do want to taste it and I do want to know what it tastes like so let me take a small bite off it and we'll see what the heat is. If I could do a second bite, we'll go from there. Well, right out the gate, it's hot, but so far, it's not like uh, Bucciolocchi heat or anything so far. I don't know. This could be a creeper. I did spit a little bit out because I don't want to get sick, but it has a beautiful taste to it. So far, I did not notice any kind of a fruity flavor, but it does have a, a very nice peppery flavor to it, like a cane type of a pepper, but not green bell, but cane. It has a beautiful taste that would probably go extremely good in hot sauce. Now, right now, the heat from this thing, it's ferocious. It's attacking the entire tongue. I just bit the end of this thing. I didn't. I can't imagine what the, what it's up by the seeds. Probably very very hot. But the whole tongue is burning. Not really up on the upper part of the mouth. Maybe very slightly. I can barely detect it. It's mostly the whole tongue, except for the very underneath of the tongue. But like the whole top of the tongue, tip of the tongue, all the way maybe three quarters of the tongue, and that's really it. No throat burn. We're, we're going to take another bite off of this. But I want you to see the skin on it. So you can see what it looks like. This pepper has an amazing flavor though. Wow. This is the kind of peppers that I like. I, again, I'm not a big fan of the fruity habanero flavors. They go good in cooking. But like if you were to dry this out. Or dry, dry it out and eat it. Or eating them raw. I really don't care for that fruity flavor that much but this one didn't have a fruity flavor it had a nice taste to it. it had a very peppery cane type of peppery flavor it doesn't necessarily taste like cane but it tastes like a pepper it tastes very peppery I, I can't I don't know what else how to put it it's just not fruity beautiful flavor this is the kind of stuff I like to cook with everything you could cook everything with this um, you know if you like to make home fries Chop one of these up if you like it hot. Put this in your cooking, your home fries. Put it in your scrambled eggs. You can mix this with meat. You can barbecue them. I don't know about stuffing them. You could probably stuff it. It's really thin wall, so be real careful on a barbecue grill. These would probably make a really good pickling pepper. 
Now, my mouth is burning right now. I didn't heat cup from it, but it is burning. But I'm sure if I take another bite, it's going to light me up a little more. So let's take another bite. I normally don't do it with these really hot peppers because the second bite's always more painful. All right, let's give it a go. Now, the second one tasted a little more fruity, but not as fruity as a habanero, not even close. It did have a little bit of a nice fruity flavor. Not much sweetness. A very good tasting pepper. Very Not real strong, but strong enough. You could taste the pepper in it. Just a nice flavor to it. The heat, though, it's starting to burn the back of the tonsils a little bit now. That second bite got to the tonsils. It's easy to swallow. This isn't a super hot. This is about habanero heat. As far as the, the level of heat on this... I'm going to put this Midway Habanero 200, 250,000 on this. Somewhere around there. I can't go any higher than that. It's just my whole mouth is on fire right now. I'm not sweating and I'm not heat cupping. But I am burning a lot right now. Whew. That is hot. That is really, really hot. That's what it looks like. There's a good amount of seeds in there. Whew. Wow, that got me. That got me good. That heat kind of, it's not a creeper, but the heat intensity definitely was building. The second bite really brought it on. My nose is watering. It's hot enough for me to eat a tomato. One that's not rotten anyway. These are all starting to spoil. For me, that's a real good combination. You eat one of these hot peppers, you start to light up, and then you, you can eat these little tomatoes, like these little... Man, you munch those things down when you're burning like that. You can munch them down. Whew. The flavors work really good. Those peppers and the tomato flavor, they work really good. So, anyway, it's peaking out. It's still high, but it's starting to come down a little bit. This was a long burn. It lasted a while. It's really cooking the tongue still. Didn't hurt the stomach at all. It was very pleasant on the stomach. No pains, no cramps. No hiccups. My sinuses are watery. Again, the heat on this, I'm going to rate it like a 200, 250,000. It's definitely up there. It did seem like it raised my blood pressure a little bit. Not in a bad way, but I could feel like my blood pressure went up. This is a long burn. This is lasting a while. This is really cooking me good. That's about all I could say about it. I mean, it's a great pepper. I got to remember to leave a link for Mojo's in the description. Just, if I forget, just type Mojo Peppers. And you'll be able to find his website and pick out any one you want. This is the Yaki Blue Fawn. Fantastic pepper. Plant grew like a champ. Most of my other pepper plants were all stunting. That one didn't stunt. That one took off like a rocket ship. That one did really, really good, that plant. Whew. Wow, that's tough. That's still hot, guys. It's just starting to come down now. Wow. Wow. Almost out of breath from that thing. I was really hot. I think I had a lot more heat that I'm, I'm really expressing. See, I took a break from eating peppers for a while. And I, I guess I'm able to tolerate it a little bit more. But man, that's still hot. It's still going. Tip of my tongue is still kind of burning. But that's it. That's your review for the Yaki Blue Fawn. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. Take care.